and uh, you know in that sense well, we're really we're in the uh, Sydney airport and New Zealand and lounge and uh, we're right heading over to uh, template, Bangkok and then up to Hyderabad in India. So we're flying during the coronavirus so there's a few uh, interesting features which have changed. Uh, most importantly uh, staff members wearing gloves, there's some face masks, um, people are using a lot more hand gels um, so we're going to be looking, doing a bit of story on flying with coronavirus uh, threat and uh, dealing with some of the uh, repercussions and some of the risks with that. So we'll talk a bit more in flight but essentially we're going to fly with some masks. Uh, we're going to clean down this, the sites that we're going to be in contact with um, using universal precautions. So transferring what we do in the hospitals into the aircraft environment uh, and trying to make it as safe as possible. Uh, there's some information known on the disease and the disease uh, process and it's uh, quite uh, challenging. Um, so being in an enclosed in space where we're sharing uh, uh, communable uh, air, um, there's a risk for communable diseases to be transferred through droplets. So we're trying to reduce those risks by uh, using universal precautions. So here we go, flight to uh, Hyderabad, India, during coronavirus via Bangkok. Well, we're on the uh, Thai Airway flight to Bangkok. Now the good news is we just don't clean off the bed area or the seat area and we've used our sterile uh, hospital grade uh, bacteria cleaning and the, all the surfaces came out beautifully uh, it was nice and uh, nice and white so they've done a good uh, thorough clean which is often called a terminal clean of the aircraft um, so we've got good confidence here we're in the back row so there's no um, body behind us in business class so no one to cough on us and there's no one next to us so we've got about a two meter radius around us that's nice and clear we know that the air is purified through a HEPA filter and it changed every 90 seconds so we're all um, feeling good and confident. Now the client doesn't want to wear a face mask but uh, she is slightly immunocompromised but um, we're going to wear it and hopefully you can uh, give you an update a little bit later on the flight. So here we are on the um, Sydney to uh, Bangkok leg, we're on the 747. Now we're talking about SARS, we're talking about coronavirus, talking about infectious disease, airborne disease, communicable diseases. So some of the risks are uh, air and water droplets communicating with your body. And the best way in is actually through touching your face. The second most easiest way is through the bathroom where there's lots of water on the surface, door handles and toilet. So here we are flying. We're uh, recommending to wear gloves when we go to the bathroom. When we touch any surface, we also use the uh, towel, just open and close door locks, open handles and discard the uh, waste in the paper basket down there. Um, interesting, we are flying and seeing a lot more around the airports at the moment with um, alcohol and uh, hand wipes and washes. Uh, so that's all good precautions uh, for flying and trying to reduce the risk of contamination. in Bangkok airport and uh, as any regular traveler will know uh, Bangkok at late at night is absolutely buzzing now this is a slot airport that all the aircrafts arrive in a three to five hour period of time and take off again and there's literally nobody in this lounge the impact from coronavirus is going to be devastating for the economy the whole airport is empty and normally there's thousands and thousands and thousands of customers here. That's our mission to Hyderabad during the coronavirus. Hopefully you got some good information out of it. The most important takeaway message is for universal precautions is the hand washing, removing contaminants from your body. The second most important thing is if you're going to use alcohol, rub, use something with a gel base that sits on your surface of your hands longer. And the other one is to use masks. So they are N95, you give you 95% protection against filtration particles, or you can go to a P3, which gives you 99%. So they're the options you have. Hopefully you've got some good information. We're back on a flight tonight, so we're going back with these on the way back to Australia. Thanks to you. Look forward to talking to you next time. Bye for now.